here at Oxford Circus at dusk. Today we're walking along to Bond Street. Now, the issue with doing these tube walks is you, unless you want to do a walk in every direction, you have to choose a, a, one direction. Just like Harry Styles. But um, one direction I've generally chosen is in the direction of central London. So if I start at it, say Boston Manor and walk to Northfields, that's going into London on the Piccadilly line. But I'm not going to then do Northfields to Boston Manor to complete the set. So my rule is going to central London and when you get to the central line, that's when the direction changes. Of course, I have a few um, videos where I'm in both directions in, within the circle line. Anyway, that's by the by. The central line itself, though, presents an issue. So where do you stop? Is it Oxford Circus? Apparently not, because I'm off the Bond Street. So this would be in the wrong direction. So I was uh, doing the central line from both ends. Epping, where's I set? Ealing Broadway. But what the hell? So while I'll keep the video running all the way, I'm actually going to, as is my want, do a bit of history. Because we have uh, Soho, no we haven't, we've got Mayfair to our left. Soho's uh, generally behind us. Is that true? No, no, it's certainly true. Sorry, it's the brain freezer. So this is Mayfair to our left, and sort of Maribyrn to our right. Pedestrian right, this is the top of New Bond Street, which is not actually where Bond Street station is. So, not only does Bond Street not exist officially because there's no such street, but uh, the top of the street that's nearly called Bond Street hasn't got a station on the top of it. Our station is a bit further along.
Bond Street station itself is hiding around this corner behind a shop called Candy World. Which, it being 2022 when I recorded this, it's a big scandal in London of all these fake candy shops along Oxford Street, which are apparently, and don't sue me Candy World if you're the only legitimate one on Oxford Street, but apparently most of them are fronts for money laundering. Take a look in the window and see how many people are in there. Because another thing people are noticing is they're basically empty. Strictly because there's so many of them that um, this just not got the footfall. Which is even more suspicious. change. So this is an Oxford Street store. Just how busy is it? Right, I'd say there are there are people in there. Just um you compare every other shop on the street. Not quite so many. Anyhow, we've reached Bond Street Station, which has been radically transformed by the coming of the Elizabeth Line this year. And here we are. 